welcome to another around a bit video I'm right here doing a breakfast testing out this Coleman two burner stove and a camp oven all right we're gonna do a we're gonna cook up some Bob Evans breakfast sausage here on this stove that I probably ain't touching about two or no it's been a while about four or five years just been in there in case the power went out or whatever now we're going to start doing a lot of RV camping. I want to see what all kind of options I have besides just taking out my grill or cooking in an RV. Okay, so we'll get this going. We'll come right back. Okay, there we go. It's getting browned up. Ain't taking no time at all. Same time, I got this getting heated up. I just turned this on. So it ain't even hit 100 yet, but we'll get it up to temp. We'll get this down here in a second. And then we're going to add a bunch of the, not a bunch, but a few more ingredients and get something in the oven here. Okay. While we're waiting on this to get browned up, finish browning, which is almost there, talk about a couple other things. I already told you I got this getting heated up. We're almost to 200 same time I've put some hot water in this Hungry Jack uh, hash browns that I love using so that's already reconstituted with rehydrated whatever you want to call it I'm also going to add in some vegetables this is a vegetable soup mix from Mother Earth this thing has like carrot flakes uh, chopped onions uh, red bell peppers green bell peppers parsley peas celery and I think green beans but not too many green beans I mean it's just a soup mix but all I did was put two tablespoons of it in here with four tablespoons of water. And this has been sitting for about 20, 25 minutes. We're going to see how well that adds into it. Okay. I think that's getting close. We're going to take our 8 by 8 pan here. Spray some butter in there. And we're going to take our hash browns here. Spread those down in there. All our sausage done. We'll turn this off. Okay, we'll turn that off. Okay. In here, I got a half a teaspoon of lari salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half of our full teaspoon of salt, and probably about a quarter of pepper. Next, I'm going to layer it with our vegetables here. reconstituted vegetables from that soup mix. Save it first. We're going to put our sausage on here. Try to keep out the grease. Bring 
grease off pretty good. Okay. I got four eggs beaten and a half a cup of milk. Pour that right in there. Then take a little bit of cheese. Take the top of cheese. of that bag in there so I'd say that was probably a half a cup of cheese maybe a little bit more there we go 275 we're gonna get this in the oven okay 840 right now in the morning we're gonna see how well that cooks Alright, we'll come back in about 15 minutes. And again, we'll see where it's at. Probably gonna put some foil on it. Uh, but before I do that, I'll get some toothpicks and loosely uh, put the foil over it. Okay. Everything on here is hot. Alright, 15 minutes, we'll come back. Alright, it's been about 12 minutes. It's been about 12 minutes. Right now, so far, I like the gas one stove that I used in the first video more than this for the Coleman stove. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pull this out, and we're gonna put some foil over it. Well, I mean, it's boiling. Nope, we're gonna let it go. I'll bring it in. Obviously, it's getting hot enough. I don't know if you can see that. It's getting pretty good. We're we'll, gonna we'll let it roll. Ooh, yeah. 30 minutes in. 30 minutes in. It's forming up really nice. Got some good egg right there. I rotated the pan. Okay, I pulled it out so we can look at it better. 30 minutes in. Okay. Yeah, the side. You taste these potatoes. Okay. It's real close to being done. Get it back in there. I like the crust that's forming over here. Turn the heat up. So it's about 300 in there. All right, Let's give it about five more minutes. We're gonna call it good. Okay, we got a total time of 40 minutes. Okay. I'm calling that good. Okay. So we're gonna take it out. I'm just gonna let it set for a second, uh, five minutes or so. We're gonna let it set for five minutes. And then we're gonna come back and put it on a plate. See how yummy this thing is gonna taste. Not bad. Okay. Do this corner right here. My goodness. My 
goodness. If you can see that, I'm gonna bring you in too. Look at that. Boy, that came out pretty well. Another good cook on this. Cause I'm pretty sure the flavor is gonna be there. Ooh, crust on the hash browns. Hopefully you can see that. Cause I saw it right there. Saw the crust forming right there. So there's a good crust on that hash brown. Really, when you're cooking outside, cooking on these things, the only thing that matters is the taste. That's good. I taste the crunch of the hash browns on the bottom. I love that soup mix that I put in there. That man, that's pretty good. I get carrots and peas. The yeah, carrots and peas are really coming out pretty good in that. Of course, the sausage is its own flavor. It's really good, and the eggs. Eggs are all cooked all the way through. So what I say, 40 minutes. Add about I don't know 10 minutes for your sausage that you cook. You could add pre-made bacon, pre-made sausage. You could use evaporated milk instead of regular milk if you're taking all this stuff camping. So many different variations you can do in a Coleman, Coleman camp oven. Yeah, I'm going to keep cooking on this. All right. Well, thanks for joining me around the pit. We'll see you next time.